Okay, now we know that we've got fresh water added to the tank at 10 gallons per minute. And the well stirred mixture is leaving the tank at the same rate, meaning it's leaving at 10 gallons per minute. Um, so there's something that I would do if we were in person in a classroom and I haven't really thought about how to, how to phrase this for working remotely, so I'm not gonna pretend. Um, if we were all in a classroom right now, I would say something like, Okay, if there are 20 of us in the room and 10 people come in and 8 people leave, how much did the number of people in the room change? And then I'd wait for a minute and you'd give me a number and you'd say 2 and I'd say, how'd you get that? And you'd say, well, we figure out how much the change is by taking how many people came in and subtracting how many people left. But we're going to do that same thing, only our change is a rate of change or a differential. I'm going to use S to be the amount of salt in my tank at any time. So S is the amount of salt in the tank. And because I think units are really important in understanding these problems, that's why I wanted to make sure that my units of salt were clear. So here my units of salt are going to be pounds. Back to that idea of the rate of change being what's coming in minus what's going out. That means that how the amount of salt is changing over time is equal to, well let's look at what's coming in. What's coming in is 10 gallons per minute. So I've got 10 gallons per minute. Now I want to do a quick check on the units. My units of salt are pounds, and my units of time in the problem are minutes, which means that if I'm going to have an in, minus, and out, whatever is here has to have those same units. And right now my units aren't right because I've got gallons per minute and I somehow need those gallons to cancel out and give me pounds up on top. I'm gonna come back to that in just a second. Let's deal with what's going out. Well, the what's going out because it's leaving at the same rate, it's also leaving at 10 gallons per minute. And I'm gonna have the same unit problem over here where I've got gallons per minute, but what I actually need are pounds per minute. So I'm gonna need something with units of pounds per gallon. Well, thinking about the units, let's start with what's coming in. What is coming in? Oh, I see. Fresh water. Now, fresh water, how many pounds of salt should be in a gallon of fresh water? I know it's not really zero, but we're gonna pretend it's zero. We would expect there to be zero pounds of salt per one gallon of fresh water, or per 10 gallons of fresh water if you like, but we expect there to be zero pounds of salt in each 10 gallon dump of water. Now, if I come back here, well, what's coming out it's coming out of the tank. It started as 40 pounds of salt per 150 gallons, but as I'm flushing in fresh water, this amount is going to change. It won't stay at 40 pounds of salt because um, some of that is going to get diluted and then flushed out again. What we do have is an expression S for the amount of salt in the tank in pounds. So I'm gonna have S, pounds of salt, per, and then our volume of the tank is 150 gallons. Usually it's easier to solve the differential equation if we ditch all the units. So 
I would actually think about this as the SDT is equal to, well, zero times 10 is zero. So that whole piece is gone. And then here, the 10 and the 150, I could simplify those to say we just have negative S over 15. 